In this video, I'll illustrate how to solve requirement two of in-class problem 3.1 on using Excel to conduct regression and to be able to determine the mixed cost equation for manufacturing overhead. Okay, so all I've done here is uh, take the labor hours and manufacturing overhead data and just copy those values into Excel. And then what you have is the labor hours represent the independent variable or X and the manufacturing overhead is the actual outcome uh, and that's Y. So in order to run the regression what you want to do is using data analysis so if you click on and depending if you're using Windows or Mac this will look a little bit different but there should be a data tab and then what you do is you click on the data and then there should be a data analysis and then if you click the data analysis what should come up is a set of tools that are available. And if you don't have this, you have to make sure that you install the data analysis pack into Excel. So this assumes that you have that installed. You just select regression and go okay. And then what we want is to uh, input our ranges. So um, what we do is the Y range. You just click on there and we say, well, we want the Y to be the manufacturing overhead. And I'm going to include the title. So you just uh, drag the area that you want and then for the X range, I'm going to do the same thing uh, and select cells A2 through 12. And then I'm going to click this little labels button. So what that'll do is it will identify that the first two or the first row uh, are labels and not values. Uh, and then all I want to do, you can leave the uh, confidence level um, as is. Uh, and then rather than have it output to a different uh, workbook or a new sheet, you just click output range and then just identify the range. So I'm just going to go and click right here. Uh, and then uh, we don't have to worry about the residuals and plots and, and those kinds of things. We'll just run the regression and boom, you have the output. Uh, I'll just make this a little prettier. And what I'm going to do now is copy this into uh, OneNote so that we can discuss it in uh, a bit more detail. So now that we have completed the regression, we can proceed to uh, look at the results. So recall from the work that we did in class the other day using the high-low method that the formula that we derived using that method was y equals 222,068 plus 29.45x, right? So fixed costs uh, plus the variable cost component. So in this case now, with the regression, what we got here is the only two things we need to worry about are the coefficients. And so the intercept basically represents the fixed cost and the labor hours, this item here, is the variable cost per unit. So uh, now that we have determined the entire result, we could say, well, using regression, in this case, we get a formula or an equation of y equals 206,406, let's just round that, leave that as it is because it's so large, plus 40.25x. So you see the difference in the equations, the fixed costs uh, under the regression are actually a little bit lower and the variable cost per unit is, well, substantially higher. So that's what you get when you, you take an approach that is uh, really an estimate based on two points on the line, whereas with the Excel-based regression, you get the exact result. The only thing really for us to look at uh, at our level here is this thing called R squared. Remember I talked about that the other day. This is the coefficient of determination. And basically this says that 71.3% of the change and I call that the delta, the change in manufacturing overhead can be explained by labor hours. That's a very important thing. Now, in terms of what I didn't talk about the other day is, well, you know, how do you know when uh, an R squared value is good enough? Well, basically uh, what we want is uh, any R squared that's greater than 0.3 or 30% is considered good. Of course, anything higher than that uh, gets better and better and better. Now, 30% may seem very low, but when you think about it, if we're talking about causality, right, and looking to explain the total manufacturing costs, if one thing, right, if labor hours alone contributes 30%, that's actually pretty significant because there, because there are so many other factors that can overall contribute to total manufacturing costs. Uh, we don't know all those factors, 
but if we want to uh, do a more detailed analysis, we would do something called a multiple regression analysis, and we would include, let's say, labor hours, machine hours, direct labor cost, a whole bunch of variables, and we would actually run a multiple regression. You can't do this manually. We have to use Excel for that to see if the model gets better and better. But for our purposes, 30% is good. You don't have to worry about the, uh, any of the other details, uh, and that's how you use Excel to run a regression to calculate the equation, and then we can see how that it's more precise than using the high-low method.